Hey everyone, Farron here. Welcome back to our video. Today I'll be looking at more of your creations. If you would like to submit your own creation, make sure to join my Discord server down below and let's get straight into it. This first one uh, is by Dart Frog, and I actually can't show you the first one made by Dart Frog. You're basically just going to have to trust me. It is that toilet right there. But here's what happens. Basically, I clicked on the preview and in the description on the workshop it says it will not crash your game definitely definitely not i clicked on the preview it did not crash my game it froze my game it minimized my game i got a bug splat error then it froze discord discord crashed my monitors went black my monitors all came back on and i alt tapped back into scrap mechanic and it was completely fine like it never happened even though i got the bug splat error from scrap mechanic saying it crashed i alt tapped and i was right where i left off just minus the toilet seat being in the preview what the fuck i i'm not clicking on your toilet again i refuse but i'll click on your seat I will spawn your seat in. Do I just sit in the seat? Is that it? You probably want to try it in a throwaway world first. Oh. I just tried to break it. Um. Hello? Okay, I'll, I'll just wait, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, Dart Frog. I'm glad that whole thing is over. I, d I didn't really want to deal with it anyways, so... I'm happy it's over. All right, this next one's by Literally, and it's the short Empire Vanilla Flying Boat. So, well, here it is. It's a flying boat. It's got a staircase right here. Hop right on in. It's got some nice seating. Look at this. You can, like, play poker in the back, maybe? I don't know. Play poker here, play poker there. Uh, you can't play poker here, but, you know. I think it's probably the same controls as every plane, so five. Yep, six to start it up, right? W. Get it going forwards. Two to pull it up. Yep. There we go. We're definitely taking off. That's a good sign. That's a very, very good sign. How's the interior look in this thing? Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty nice, right? I, I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so I believe with Literally's creation, Seven always puts the landing gear. Yeah, Seven always puts the landing gear up. Okay, so that, that works pretty well. Um, except I do kind of have to put it back down because we got to come in for a landing here. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and set it down here with four. Yeah, we're coming in for a bit of a hard landing, but that's okay. Okay, slow it down. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Come back in. Come back in. Come back in. Come back in. All right, here we go. So this is what I'm calling the approach, the final approach, okay? This is it, okay? So it's going to work. This is what I'm trying to tell you right now. This is going to work. Just like so. I've landed the plane perfectly smoothly. So welcome, everyone, to um, Train Island as I, I like to call it. This is the new hometown for all future creation videos. I believe that you guys will think it's um a much better, a much better location than the old one. It's a lot more scenic, you know. We're on a massive island, which um provides the perfect opportunity for um floating creations, maybe some boats, planes that float, for example. And uh, yeah, just in general, a extraordinarily cool location. This was all made by Nathan on my Discord, by the way. He's an absolutely amazing creator, and I recommend that you check out the tile. The link will be in the description of this video if you want to subscribe to it for yourself. Now, of course, the one thing everyone's asking is, does literally a seaplane actually float? Because, I mean, it's called the vanilla flying boat, right? It's the flying boat, so we gotta test that out real quick. I believe that the answer to the question is yes. It does float. But, sadly, if you were playing poker in the back, you're kind of drowned now. But I don't think that is just because of that. And I think that means that those thrusters will stay on the whole time. No matter what. And yeah, you can just take off then, right? Just like so. Yeah, off you go. Right in the air. Just like so. Very, very cool. On to the next one. If you guys haven't noticed recently, um, I've hit a thousand subscribers, which honestly feels crazy to me. It's insane. Um, so this one's by Jay 
and this one's by Nathan, and they're both, um, they're both presents for me for a thousand subscribers. So I thought I'm gonna start with this one by Jay. Uh, let's open this present by pushing this button, and, ooh, it's like a big reveal, I don't get to see it straight away. Hey! Yo, there's a cake! That's cool! I get a cake, is there anything inside the- I assume I have to push this lever. Right? Oh god! Wait, whoa! Oh! Wait! That's cool, I was like, why is there this hump here? There's a thousand! That's so- that's actually really, really cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And then this one over here, um, the description on the workshop by Nathan is, just let it warm up first. So, so I guess I just push the button and then- WHOA! WHOA! Oh. Is that gonna come- Is that gonna self-destruct? Or something? Or am I gonna- I feel like I'm gonna have to go fetch that. Holy shit. <laughs> Would you look at that? Did you build this for me? Do I get my very own locomotive? Holy shit. Okay, I'm like, okay. Holy shit. Friendly Railway is back at it again. Now, how do I get in? Do I, I think it's that, I gotta line this up just right, don't I? Just like that, yep, there we go, and now I'm in. Wow, okay. Okay. I'm not even gonna look at this for too much longer. I'm just gonna go chuck it on the brand new 3U railway. So right here is the uh, brand new shed for all the 3U locomotives. So I'm just gonna place this one right here. And there we go. Oh God, oh God, I've driven it off the edge already. Oh, I've already bro- oh, I've already, I've already- okay, you know what? You know what? Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it a lot. Um, we gotta move on though. This next one's by Jay. Jay. And it's the James- or it's James Bond's DB5, which is one of James Bond's cars. So I got one and three for blinkers, two for lights, four is the switch license plates, extend the guns, deploy- fire guns, and deploy the shield. Okay, so you didn't like skimp out on any of the actual, um, features then. Alright, so one is the left blinker, three, right blinker, uh, two is headlights, and then what was it, three to, s or four to switch license plate? Let's unjam it. Come on, we gotta get up to speed, don't we? Oh, oh, oh god, I forgot there's, that this is an island. Oh, I gotta be much more careful now. No, it still is getting jammed. I'm gonna try one more thing. Hey, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! I fixed it! It's getting jammed on your, uh, on your, uh, trunk. Gotta hate those trunk covers always, or the trunk handles always getting in the way. Uh, we can now become Fino Work TR. Um, he doesn't exist anymore. He deleted his YouTube channel, so that's kind of awkward. And we'll push number five, which extends the guns. Oh, I see them. I see them. You see them? I see them. Okay, so one of them extended. Come on. The other one can do it too. I believe in it. There we go. Hey, I got them both out. So now six. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, will this actually like destroy stuff? Every single one of these trees is destructible. I don't really want to shoot too many of them. But if I shot just one. I meant to shoot one. I didn't mean to shoot three. But that's it for this one. This one is really, really cool. Um, and it's on to the next one. This next one's by Verrett, and it looks like an absolute beast of a train. It's called the Unnamed. Like, literally, it's just an un- it's unnamed. But, it looks really, really cool. It uses a really- like, I've never seen this before peg system ever in my entire life. Um, it's- it might just- because of the suspension, it might just fit through no- Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to take it too far down the track. But I'm gonna take it as far as I can. Five is your firebox. This is really cool. 
Now, the only issue with the train is it's not going to move anywhere because you're using, um, blocks that happen to just have a lot of, uh, a lot of friction. So what you really should be using are the square mesh blocks as sliders. Um, so I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to get your train to move just because it's, well, it's too grippy. It, it's not moving, I'm sorry. But other than that, it looks like really like this tender and everything. It looks really, really cool. I really like the whole like it's I like it. It's a very cool looking train. So thank you for submitting. And well, it's on to the next one. This next one is by ripping R1D and it's the U1 Garrett. No mods. And once again, I don't think I'm going to drive it too far just because you're using two wide or three wide pegs technically. I really recommend if you want me to be able to drive your train properly just for this world you really 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 need to only use one block wide pegs okay because it's not gonna make it through this as you'll see it's just gonna hit it so I'm gonna I'll take it backwards down the track oh wait actually it's gonna get locked in here as well uh, basically the moral of the story is you really need to only use one block wide pegs, okay? That is, that's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to have to do that. So here we go. We're just going to go down here, down the track, very peacefully. I'm going to show you guys the whole island right now. Um, so this is the main seven you track. It goes around the island. It goes around the whole island. Uh, you get little pathways like that that are pretty damn cool up there that you'll see that is the three you track right above us um that is also more of the three you track right there right here's a staircase this goes all the way up to the top of the hill through all the track gauges so all the way up to the two you gauge um this bridge right here i believe yep this is another three u uh track right there right along here you have uh, the seven u track then you have um the uh three u track and then right above that you have two u track that's it's a really crazy bridge and then right here is where i'm going to end this train's journey because it's going to smack in right here this is another area that the 5U track intersects with the 7U track, and then that just loops right back around. So that's it for this one. Um, thank you for submitting. It looks really cool. But it's on to the next one. This next one is also by Verrett, and it is the Convi. It's apparently from uh, Nickelodeon's The Wild Thornberries. I haven't seen it before. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm just going to hop right on in, and we're going to take a look at this. It, I... I, it's a camper van, I think. Well, yes, now I know it is. The pan is kind of hanging off. <laughs> you got your sink here. You got a single burner stove with a chest right below it. You got your wine. Obviously, you need that. I think that's wine, at least. Um, You got a little table here. You got a radio and a key. No connections. Got another chest right there. You never have too much storage. You got a little water dispenser. You've only got a sink right there. Kind of sus. Uh, you got a really cool looking wardrobe actually here in a bookshelf with more wine glasses Um, here is your bathroom. So you got your toilet here. I don't know where you sleep Uh, oh, is this your bed? That might be your bed right there. Oh, whoa. Okay. I just teleported to the roof I didn't realize there was a seat there That allows you to go up to the roof Kind of thought that was the switch, but no, nope, apparently not. I'm just gonna push all these Okay, so there's your canopy right there Okay, that's actually cool. That's actually quite cool. Thank you, Varet, for submitting this camper. And it's on to the next one. This next one's by Alex Angel, and it is the 5U James, the red engine. One is forward, two is backwards, three is the brake, four is the whistle, and five is to steam up. So I assume I have to push that to get it to go at all. So I'll just push five right now. And then I assume that, yep, there's the steam up button. So one will move us forward, two will move us back, three is your... What was it again? Three is your break and four is your whistle. So can I whistle? Yeah. That's actually a really cool whistle design. Quite like that a lot, actually. I'll take you guys on a tour of the five view track. And this one can actually go through all the crossings because it has the right pegs. Okay. So now I think we're steamed up. Yep. There we go. Oh, this thing really moves. It moves real well. And look at how smoothly it moves across all the cross sections. By the way, if you guys do want to build um, 
something for right here please do build a little slider you can get the dimensions if you subscribe to the tile yourself um which you can do uh, obviously down below now we're just going to move across this one here and we're going to keep on going there's a nice little field here i know it's got you know very it's very pretty here actually it's really really quite a pretty place and then i'm going to show you guys this okay they're not perfect okay this they're not completely perfect now i would like to show you guys this really quickly so i'm just gonna keep the train going forward and i'm gonna jump out come on come on i gotta go i gotta go fast push the switch oh okay it's gonna just force it through yeah i didn't want that to happen but it just did and now i'm just gonna reverse the train down to show you guys something very very cool that nathan added to this tile so i'll just reverse the train here right along just like so look at that this thing works so well with these tracks congratulations I'm just gonna hop along this. I'm gonna go a bit slower than last time. Yeah, to prevent that from happening, or try and prevent that from happening. All right, so over here, this is the pier. And really, if you guys wanna, this is where we can show off boats. There's a little dock area here. I mean, there's even an area to unload like cars here. Really, like, look, we can slice lane down. We could ramp a boat off of a train. So, if you want to build a train car that can deploy a boat, by all means, go for it. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless, right? Anyways, thank you very much for submitting this, Alec. It looks really, really good. And I did just take that a little too fast, so it did, of course, derail. But thank you for submitting. And it's on to the next one. So I thought that quickly I would show you guys the uh, the three U line. Uh, we using this beautiful train that Nathan made. This thing is crazy. So it goes up here. There is a bridge here. I might either build one on stream where you guys could submit one if you wanted to be permanently featured in the world. Once again, if you subscribe to the tile, you can get the dimensions. Um, it's a really beautiful track. It goes under this tunnel here, really, really perfectly. Uh, that's also a bridge for the 3U line. There's a banked corner here. It, it, Nathan went all out on this. And oh my god, I just, the driving experience from in here is crazy cool as well. Here's the um, staircase that I was talking about that goes all the way up and all the way down. Thank you guys for all your support over the last couple months, you know, submitting your creations for this series. Uh, it just got a hell of a lot better with this tile. So thank you, Nathan. Showing off these creations is going to be better than ever. Oh, wow, Nathan. The thing that you built doesn't even fit. That is, uh, kind of funny, actually. Oh, well, I guess the rest of this is going to be on foot. All right, so along here, you got the 3U track. It just continues along, just like this. And then it wraps around to over here, which has the 2U line that shows up right here. And then this is the end of it, but it goes basically all the way up, around through here. I'll just cut up here. See, right along here around and then this is where it reconnects with that bridge and this it's just such a beautiful beautiful island and i think you can all agree so thank you guys very much for watching this episode if you did like it make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button it helps out my channel a lot if you disliked it you can dislike it but you can't really see it so it doesn't matter um and yeah that's it i'll see you guys in the next one have a good morning evening or afternoon Bye bye